For over 150 years, the plumbing, pump, and manufacturing experts at A.Y. McDonald have built their reputation for producing the highest quality products in the industry. And today, that tradition continues with the Duramac Water Pressure Booster System, the world's most versatile booster pump. The Duramac is the first booster pump of its kind that answers virtually all of your boosting needs. Look at how easy it is to install. Here's what comes in the Duramax system package. Digital control box and tailpiece, check valve, pressure tank, and of course, the booster pump. Now when connecting the Duramax to a pressurized system line, make sure the incoming pressure is appropriate for the device. You should refer to the printed table in your instruction manual, as well as the local codes for maximum pressure allowed in your area. Whether you're installing onto a supply line or a well system, a shutoff valve or union should be installed before and after the pump. This will make disconnection easy if there is ever need for servicing. For more information about supply line and well application installation, refer to your instruction manual. The installation of the Duramax system is extremely straightforward and best of all, should take you only about an hour from start to finish. First, push the poppet inside the check valve to make sure it moves freely. Then apply Teflon tape on the male threads of the check valve and thread it into the inlet of the pump, making sure that the arrow on the check valve is pointing in the direction of the flow. It's very important that you do not apply sealant onto the pump threads, as excessive sealant or Teflon tape can foul the check valve. Second, apply the sealant to the male threads of the tailpiece. Be sure the union nut is over the tailpiece and then install it into the pump outlet. Third, make sure the O-ring is attached to the groove on top of the tailpiece. Then, tighten the union nut to the control T. Next, Apply pipe sealant to the male threads of the tank bushing and install it into the top of the control using your wrench on the flats of the tank and the tank bushing. Apply sealant to the tank threads as well. Install the tank onto the top of the tank bushing. If the incoming water pressure is known, Adjust the pressure in the tank to be 2 pounds air less than the setting on the dial. Rotate the control box so the front panel and gauge are visible when fully installed. Then mount the pump base firmly. Now you're ready to plumb the system based on your specific plumbing codes. Plug the pump cable into the control cord but do not plug the control into the wall yet. Slowly open the water main shutoff valve and check for leaks. Then open a nearby faucet and let the water flow for about a minute or until all the air is purged. This step is necessary to prime the pump. Now, with the faucet still open, plug in the control power cord and the pump should start running. If it doesn't, just press the reset button. You'll see the blue light on and the pressure begin to increase. Close the faucet. The pump will continue to run for seven seconds after the flow is stopped and the green standby light should be on. The Duramac booster can be set to three different operation modes, depending on your customer's needs. This installation will be using the standard pressure mode. This is the most common mode for household installations. The pump will start on pressure drop and operate continuously while there is a need for water. Adjust the dial on the control 10 to 15 PSI less than the pressure shown on the gauge and push the reset button. The air pressure in the tank should be 2 PSI less than the start pressure on the control dial. If you want to check the air pressure in the tank, shut off the water supply main valve and open a faucet. The pressure gauge should read zero. Then check the pressure in the top of the tank with a tire pressure gauge. You can pressurize the tank as required with a tire pump or air compressor. 
Then reopen the main shutoff valve and turn off the faucet and you're done. In flow mode, the pump runs only when water usage exceeds one gallon per minute. It's typically best suited for applications where there is fluctuating pressure or if there is an occasional leak. If you're running the booster in flow mode, turn the pressurized dial to zero and push reset. The pump will start and stop where there is flow. You'll want to adjust the tank pressure to be 2 psi lower than the start pressure. Just watch your pressure gauge when water is flowing to see the pressure when the pump starts. Conservation mode is used when the pressure is adequate but requires boosting for high demand times such as running multiple showers, bathtubs or irrigation systems. Conservation mode dramatically reduces power consumption by only operating the pump during peak demand. If you're running in conservation mode, turn the start pressure dial 5 to 10 psi below incoming city pressure and push reset. The pump will start when the pressure drops below the incoming pressure. Then adjust the air pressure in the tank as we described earlier, and that's all there is to it. For cisterns or holding tanks, you'll want to install the pump as close to the water source as possible to minimize the length of your suction pipe. Make sure the diameter of the suction pipe is the same or larger than the suction inlet on the pump. You'll also want to be sure that the piping is free of all air leaks and air trapping high spots. It slopes continuously upward from the source to the pump and you avoid elbow and fitting bends when possible. The A.Y. McDonald Duramac Water Pressure Booster System, the world's most versatile booster system. Easy to install, easy to operate, and providing a savings of both time and money to both you and the homeowner. Making good products and selling them honestly for over 150 years. That's the A.Y. McDonald Manufacturing Company. For more information, go to AYBoosters.com or call one 800 292-2737.